Hey guys, as some of you know, I've made several videos talking about speaker settings and stereo settings to make your speakers sound better and different speaker installs. And I got a comment recently asking to show what my stereo settings look like. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you guys what my stereo settings look like. Stay tuned. Before I get started, I want to make it clear that I'm not going for the biggest bass or any certain type of specialty uh, sound, you know, but this is all, of course, personal preference. So you can use my settings as a recommendation, but obviously go into your own settings, play around with them, see what you think sounds best, because that's really what you want. So a little bit about my speaker setup. I have two of these Wake Tower speakers right above me right here, which I made a video on. You can see that in the description. And I also have a subwoofer back there, which you can see in the description as well. So let's get into the settings and show you guys what I have. So first we will go into subwoofer level, as you can see. So my head unit has a setting where you can turn on or off your subwoofer. Obviously I have a subwoofer, so uh, this is on and I can adjust my subwoofer level. So if I click into this, you can see it's at minus three. And that's because the, the subwoofer is right behind my uh, passenger seat. So it's really close and the Jeep is pretty small. So if it's anything above that, it's pretty intense, especially because this is my daily driver. I drive it every morning at very early, uh, pretty far to work. So I don't want it to be, you know, ringing my ears because this subwoofer can get pretty loud. Moving on, we go to base level. As you can see, this is at minus four. And I do this because I really don't like the sound of too much bass in my regular speakers. So my regular speakers, the ones right here and here in the front and then the ones above my head, are just regular mid-range speakers. And when there's too much bass in a song and it's turned up too high, it just doesn't sound very good to me. So I have this at minus four and I let the subwoofer do the uh, bass sounds in the songs because that sounds the best. As you can see here, my mid is set to plus one. And I think I just changed that after I installed those new speakers above me. So obviously this is personal preference. Uh, I liked having the mid at plus one just because I like to hear a little bit more of the artist's voice, I suppose. And that's what I feel like it does uh, when I listen to it. For the treble, you can see it's just right at zero. I didn't want to really mess with that. I didn't think it made a huge difference uh, if it was up a couple or down a couple. So I kept it at zero just to be neutral. Now if we go into EQ Pro, you can see that I did not change any of these settings. These are all, obviously I showed you this earlier, my base level is at minus four, but these are all the same as usual. And I didn't really want to mess with that because you can get pretty deep into the settings here. And I just wanted to keep it simple. Didn't really want to mess with it too much, so that's what I have. So now we go to bass boost. You can see I have mine off, and obviously I have my bass down to minus four and my subwoofer down to minus three, so uh, I didn't want it on because it just puts too much power to the regular mid-range speakers and it doesn't sound very good. For loudness, I have it on level one, uh, and that is because the speakers above me, it seems like they don't get as loud with the uh, stock setting on the, on the head unit. So level one does the job, it just makes it a little bit louder so that I can turn the uh, volume up less and get more sound out of it than I would if it was at off. Uh, I talked a little bit about this in my other videos, balance and fader. So balance, obviously it's at zero. That means that from left to right, it's centered. And then if you go to fader, you can see that it's at plus one to the front. And that's because, like I said, the speakers behind me are right above my head. So to compensate for that, I'm putting more power to the front speakers so I can hear them a little bit more. And it gets that good kind of surround audio. But that's really it for the settings. I just have uh, some pretty normal settings nothing too extreme so you can use this as a reference but obviously go into your head unit play around with it because it's all personal preference when it comes to it so all right now I also kind of wanted to look at some of the comments from this video because I thought it was pretty funny so this video I got absolutely destroyed in the comments because of the box that I was using for the sub basically all the comments are saying that I need a new box the box has to go uh, that box killed the sub whatever I put in the box is gonna sound terrible and I get that. The box is not, was not great. It was homemade. I made a video on it. 
you guys can check it out it'll be down in the description but obviously I have a new box right here and it works just fine I got a lot of comments also saying to wire it to 1 ohm instead of 4 ohm and that's a little ridiculous to me I'm not trying to get the most uh, bump for my sub I'm just trying for it to sound good a 4 ohm uses not as much power and that's what I wanted so 4 ohm sounds perfectly fine but then another comment that I keep getting on this one and also another video that I did is people saying that I need an amp and to me that doesn't make any sense because to wire a sub of course I need an amp and so to address that I guess I'll show you guys that the amp is under this platform that I made it's gonna be kind of hard to see but you can see there's a power cap and then two amps one's for all the speakers and one's for the sub so obviously I have an amp that's a dumb question that I keep getting comments about and then to go to my favorite comment on this video right here someone says I'm surprised someone didn't shove you in a locker and I'm not gonna lie right when I saw that it made me laugh so that's a good comment so now if you look at this video where I put the sub in a new uh, Amazon's choice box go down to the comments this is what I'm talking about this comment do you even have an amp hooked up WTF is this doo doo I didn't mean to dislike that but I'm like how else would you run a sub the amp is underneath the platform as I just showed you guys I don't understand this another one saying wire it positive positive negative negative that means uh, wire it 1 ohm and I'm wiring it 4 ohm which is perfectly fine for me I'm not too worried about it those are just those are good comments just kinda telling me that 1 ohm will hit harder but I'm not too worried about it hitting hard so but I just thought it would be pretty funny just to kinda look at some of the comments uh, that I get sometimes on these videos so uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.